when you gain health, Arcanum Seeker gain gets four attack. Um, what did this used to be? Oh, did it used to not have Overwhelm? Is that it? I mean, giving it Overwhelm is certainly going to make it better, but is it going to make it worthwhile? I mean, you know, I wouldn't pick this up if it had three health, but four health for two costs that eventually get some four more attack and Overwhelm, it might be worth looking at. Certainly, certainly interesting, as they say. Kickfoot Monk. Plus two heart and flying on the enemy turn. Uh, so it used to be 1-4 and didn't have the plus 2 health, but now it's 2-4, it's 2-2 it's two, two and has flying on the enemy turn, but it has the 4 health more. So they made this guy better, but also slightly worse. Because um, if they have if they have any fast damage or fast removal, uh, this guy goes away. But... If they don't, uh, then they're kind of in trouble more from this guy. So yeah, uh, it's... Huh. Um, I can see this being a lot better. Like, a lot better. And cards can't leave voids. That's always a nice thing to attack onto cards. Just, just stick it on some cards. Why not? Um... Throne Warden down to 4 from 5. That makes this guy much better. Like, I I was playing this back when it was at 5, so I mean, uh, Armory decks are gonna love this, aren't they? Unless they have something they really like it for, but still, um, this is an objectively better card now and it's probably gonna get played a lot more, so yeah, that's, uh, that's nice, because I like this card. I like gaining armor. I like doing that. You may give a unit you know, unblockable this turn, or, uh, this is the new thing, the enemy player sacrifices a relic of their choice. Interesting, so you, if you don't have stuff on the board to give uh, unblockable, or you just don't want to give anything else unblockable, since you don't have to do this, the enemy player sacrifices a relic of their choice. So, I mean, it's more relic removal, which is nice. It's nice. It's really nice. And, uh... Since it comes out really early, how likely is it that the enemy player will have more than one relic out if they have one? Given that they have one, given that they are playing some kind of relic deck. Um, well, this can still be devastating for Decro's Ruin decks because they need every single one of their relics to be active for the deck to go off. They need their um, the card that draws everyone... Uh, uh, cards. They need their card that makes everything cost two more. They need their Decrow's Ruin. They need a bunch of stuff to get that deck going. So, I mean, this is this is really nice. I really like that Decrow's Ruin is getting a lot of hate this time round, because god I hate, hate that deck. Rambus Challenge. Give unit plus two and invulnerable to damage this turn. Invoke the... Uh, no, that's Praxis. Yeah. All the Invoke 2 Faction cards are getting a buff, I see. So yeah, uh, hmm. None of these I've gotten a chance to look at. I'm just realizing how much of Cold Hunt that I've missed if um, a bunch of these cards are prominent enough to require nerfs and or buffs. I would guess that this was a side deck, and I would guess that this used to be 3 and give 1. Um, or like, 1 and give 1? But whatever it is, it's uh, it's pretty good now, considering it's like invulnerable to damage is slightly different from can't be killed, because you can't use spells or whatever to get rid of it. But you know, it's um, it's not a fast spell, so you can't use it react to uh, people attacking, which is a shame. But still, like attacking wise, eh, this could be this is pretty good right here. Put one of your units into a hand, give plus two, plus two, invoke, uh, invoke, don't tell me, I just said it, Combre, Combre, I was just saying it, put one of your units into a hand, give plus two, plus two, invoke Combre, again, depending on how good invoke two factions is, I don't know if this is worth three or not, um, the, the top effect is worth two, but is the bottom effect worth one extra? 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. Give you a killer. Invoke. Uh, Elysium. Uh, I still don't think this is worth three, even when it's been nerfed or buffed or whatever. Um, I mean, if this is a if this is a nerf, then never mind, I guess. But this isn't. It, this doesn't look like it's worth whatever it is right now. Give one of the units plus one plus one, and enemy unit minus one minus one. In book. Uh, God damn it! Why am I not remembering all these all of a sudden? Argent port. And it's Argen port and not Argen port, as I've uh, recently discovered by hearing the people talking about it in the campaigns. Give one of the units plus one plus one, and enemy unit minus one minus one. Um. I mean, considering that this is fast, yeah, I can see this being three with uh, the invoke attached. Oni Patrol, Onslaught, plus one. Uh, this is a nerf, I think. What did it used to be? Oh, it's what used to be plus one, plus one. So it's now a three, one instead of a three, two. Hmm, how much does that hurt it? It hurts it quite a bit, I think. Um... Because, I mean, this was this was your premier turn two card, really. So, uh, yeah, that does hurt aggro decks quite a bit. Because, like, this was this was really good in those decks. Mm, I'll have to I'll have to rethink my mono red strategies after this round of nerfs. But uh, yeah, uh, so far I'm liking them. There are a couple cards that I'm like kind of iffy on, but so far. Well, let's get the last two out of the way before the last, um, uh, the final judgment. Inscribe, kill an enemy unit with two attack or less, but now it's a fast spell. Um, I mean, I saw this being used a couple times in Throne, um, and in Expedition as well. So, I mean, the fact that it's fast now, eh, Black can just one for one pretty much every card that comes down now, which is great. That's great news for Argentport. That's great. I love it when Argentport gets buffs. That's lovely. I especially love it when Ambition gets buffs. Oh boy, would I love for e for greedy Ambition to come back. Yes, please. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, this is a better card, so why not pick it? And Torgov's Wares, this always should have been two. I I don't think that this two health is worth one extra cost. Because, like, draw two cards and discard a card, that's two. That's not three. Because um, Wisdom of the Elders is three. And you can't really, like, if this just, if this did say discard a card, this would be worth three. Because, I mean, it would be a slightly better Wisdom of the Elders. But now that it's, well, it, I mean, it was always two cards then discard a card that's two that's worth two um so yeah this is this is where it should be it's not uh game breakingly adva advantageous or anything so yeah these rounds of nerfs um i think i'm gonna like them overall despite some of the really annoying ones that i took a look at but yeah we'll have to we'll have to dive in pretty soon actually so if you want to see that then stay tuned.